this video I want to share something I found very useful. The other day I happened to be in a thrift store and I picked up this spool of wire here and it turns out to be a highly resistive wire referred to as nickel chrome, I guess it's nickel chrome alloy. And it's got roughly uh, 8.2 ohms per foot. And so I thought, you know, this would be very useful for making your own resistors. If you happen to uh, have an occasion where you need maybe a high wattage resistor and, uh, you know, at 8.2 ohms per foot, it wouldn't take a whole lot to uh, to make a homemade resistor with it. But I found another purpose for it, and I'll, I'll show you what uh, you can do with this stuff here. Um, because this wire has a high resistance, you can apply a small current across it, and you can actually uh, use it for burning wood or burning plastic. And I'm going to turn on my power supply here so you can see. Here we've got the wire here. It's glowing. I've got it hooked up to my variable power supply. I guess I've got right now about 8 volts going to it and uh, oh, a couple amps there, 2.2 amps. And anyway, uh, the current and voltage you apply, of course, that would depend on the length of the wire that you're using. But basically, you just stabilize the wire between a couple points here. Let me pull that back a little bit. And you can use it for cutting plastic or wood. I'm amazed at how quickly it'll cut across wood. But I'll show you a little piece of plastic, for example, when I just kind of pull it across here. You have to slide it when you're doing it. Oops. There we go. Now, part of the problem I've run into when you do this is that sometimes the plastic tends to re-weld itself. So I, I did it with, I think it was plexiglass. I went across like this, and by the time the wire came out of the other side, the plastic had just basically welded itself back together. Well, it worked in this case, but the other... Uh, application I've used it for is cutting wood and uh, the other day I had a shelf that I had to cut and I didn't want to raise a bunch of sawdust and whatnot so I actually slid the wire right across the shelf and I was able to cut right through uh, shelving I think it was probably about half inch thick um, pine I'll give you an example of what I can do here with it. Um, it does take a little patience when you do it and it raises a little bit of smoke but uh, Hopefully I won't set off the smoke alarms around here. But as you can see, you just slide it back and forth here. And you can adjust the voltage and the uh, current, of course. And you can, you know, decide what's best as far as how hot you want this thing to be. But there you have it. Just cut through the wood there. So I found this very useful. And uh, I'm sure I'll find more applications for it in the days to come. But I just wanted to share that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but isn't this the same type of wire that these guys that do the vaping use in their little pipes? Anyway, I'll, I'll show the uh, name of it one more time there and the, the uh, resistance per foot. Anyway, there you have it. As always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe.